Hey guys, Empress again, and for this video, I will be unboxing my Rainbow Holic Sakura Box 2019, which I actually received last April. As you all saw, the box is filled with kawaii stickers all over it. Not to mention, the box itself is printed with interesting stuff that can only be found in Japan. These stickers, plus Japanese prints, give the box a more personalized appearance. So, when I saw the postmaster approaching me carrying my package with the stickers all over it, a huge wave of excitement washed over me because it felt like I was receiving a package from a friend rather than from a shop. So I guess we should open the box now. A tiny backstory on how I found Rainbow Holic. Well, I first saw Rainbow Holic on YouTube when I was looking up for Cherry Blossom Starbucks merch videos, and well, one of her videos came up. So I watched, subbed, and then followed her on Instagram. Then I saw that she also has a shop, and at that time, a pre-order on her Sakura boxes was ongoing. So yeah, lucky me. see tiny cherry blossom flowers peeking out. When I saw the stickers outside the box, I thought that was it. I never thought that there would be more on the inside. Plus points because the stickers are cherry blossoms, which I like. And now for the main event. Time to unveil what's inside my Sakura box. There's even a tiny thank you note. This is so adorable. The note was even written on a Sakura card.
have it. I will just gather all these cherry blossom flowers and petals because I will be using them on my journals. My thoughts, I love the stationary items, the stickers, the washi tape. I can't wait to use them on my planners, journals. I really can't wait to try the bath bomb. It's shaped like a cherry blossom and it's just so pretty to look at. So a part of me doesn't even want to try to use it now. As for the tea, I got tea, literally. I haven't tried the Lipton one yet because I'm not a fan of Lipton teas but I did promise my friends that I would try them. But this sweet sakura tea is really delicious for me. I just add in some honey and I'm all set. I'm excited also to taste the sakura latte but I do it on another time and I'll just maybe post it on my Twitter or Instagram. As for the main item, the matcha sakura flavored pocky quick confession before I say anything. I'm not very fond of matcha flavored desserts. There, I said it. I don't hate it. I can tolerate some. It's just that I'm not very fond of the taste, but I still eat them. So going back to the pocky, coming from someone who is not fond of matcha, this one is just so, so good. It's really tasty, mostly the sakura flavor. And I've tasted a lot of other flavors of Pocky, and this one just became one of my favorites. This big pack consists of 9 smaller packs, so it's very handy if you just want to put some on your bag for a quick snack. However, my Pocky didn't even last for 2 days because we ate them all, it's that good. I didn't even get the chance to take a picture of the individual packs, the sticks, and even the inside packaging. Because by the time I learned the big pack was open, it was already deep in the trash. That's why I'm still looking for a store that still has this flavor. Because I'd totally buy another pack. Or maybe two. Three. And I swear, if I get my hands on another, I will surely take a photo immediately. And I tell you, the inside packaging is so adorable because there are cherry blossom prints on it. I didn't even get a chance to take a photo of it. Overall, this box is totally worth it. Packaging is really pretty and you can tell that Kayla has put effort in packing them. The stationary items are also pretty and for sure I'll be using them. I also got a lot of sakura drinks, the tea, the latte, and I got four different types of them. And of course the Pocky, which I totally love. I feel like this is the highlight of the box. So I totally recommend this. So there you have it guys, my 2019 Sakura box. I hope you enjoyed this video, because if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, because I got lots of them. Bye!